Models Daily Vlog. Here we are, what are we today? The 21st of October 2015 and pushing on still with the venerable uh, Starfighter here. Sorry, it's a shadow. As you can see, we're looking very, very nice. Love this metal finish. Um, I'm not gonna bore you to death by telling you how good this stuff is. Just go and buy it. But needless to say that I have done or have been in the process over the last few days uh, putting together the full new review of this because obviously it's all part of this if you watch the actual build of this it's the same thing okay but what it will be is a standalone around about 45 minutes i'm thinking which covers everything about this paint as we've used it on this particular model now obviously members you're going to see the full thing onto this uh warts and all with your part of the build but there'll be a cut down version of this which is going to be sort of the edited highlights if you like about using this particular material how good it really is and everything else um, and the next big hurdle as we were talking about yesterday for this particular one is deckling and I can confirm although the decals are fantastic these are the old cartograph ones for this kit they're beautiful decals they go down absolutely flawlessly no problem at all but what I love about it is I can't actually see the carrier film unless you light cross it as in looking across the sheen uh, of the actual on the surface itself so it doesn't stand out like Alclad does where you can see it quite clearly around it Again, it could be the color, this is a lighter color, but I've got it going down here at the back here over dark light, well, there's three colors down here, uh, and it's blending in beautifully. I'm we gonna overcoat this one yet? This is my big dilemma. I'm thinking about it. I'm really biting at the bit to say, let's give it a whirl, but what I might do is do a little test on something else, overcoat it and see exactly what we got. I'm actually thinking about overcoating it with a lacquer because that should lock the luster and we shouldn't have a problem. Trouble is with the lacquer, extremely fine detail on this, and we could run the risk of actually it being in a situation where the panel lining disappears. So I'm thinking somewhere down the line it might get a coat of lacquer, but at this point I'm thinking, right, okay, let's get this on, get the decals in, get them snuggled down nicely, then we're gonna put a weathering wash onto this one so it will get full sludge wash, if you like, with floor models, weathering wash of dark dirt, then seal it and then that way it should all just blend together. Then if we come in with anything post, like, you know, technically, post shading, um, you know, post weathering, things like that. We can do all that. We're safe in the knowledge that all everything is locked away and we don't have to worry about it at all. So needless to say, the next part of this is up and you're catching up with me now, okay? So part, what is we on now? Part five is up on the site now. Uh, you can go ahead and watch this one. That will take you the first step into this one. So what this actually does is talk about, obviously we put down the black base primer to this one, get a good finish with that. We speak about that one at length. Then we talk about obviously the different colors we're gonna use, uh, a big roundup about AK and all the rest of it. You're gonna see this one anyway for non-members um, and everything else like that. So certainly you're gonna get a full on in-depth putting down the paint. We do it two ways. We do a flood coat on one side and then we actually come through with a very light dusty coat on the other, building up layers and we treat it like we would like an owl clad or any other type of very fine plating technique uh, and all the rest of it then we have a look at the two and then we decide actually it doesn't matter how you use this stuff it just tends to work at the end of the day it's a real warts and all because there's no edits or cuts including me using the hairdryer to speed things up to dry it down and everything else um, so it literally is that thing if you're thinking about it you're not sure about it have a look and you'll get it as I said you mem non-members you're gonna get a cut down version it's gonna be about half an hour um, so I'll edit out all the boring bits for you and everything else like that but needless to say, it's really coming along very, very nicely. I am loving it and I just can't find any problems with it. Every time, you know, we're here we are, we're deckling it now, it's coming down and it is literally just giving us a truly stunning finish. Okay, and as you can see, you catch those decals in the light, they're a lot more shiny, but that's the first ones on there. And in a minute, I'm just about to show on film about sticking in the big ones. Okay, so we're actually, we're gonna be popping in the, the big US Air Force ones down the side and everything else like that. But I really am loving it. Speaking of videos and things you want to watch, don't forget we've actually got up on the site now on the YouTube page a few freebies, okay? So up there at the moment we've got a new section, or it's been up there a couple of weeks and it's called Free to Watch. Now up there at the moment we've actually got part 15 of the Hawker Typhoon build. That was the big monster, 124 scale, ripped it open, did all the bits and pieces. That part basically covers all the diorama base and we talk about the end uh, and everything else like that. So that's free on the site. Now that's going to disappear on Friday. They're only up there for a limited time. Grab them whilst you can 
down and then they're going to disappear okay the other one that's up there is part nine from the sherman build so this was the tusker kit um, we did a full weathering job on this one using pigments and oils and stuff like that uh, that talks about that in depth again that one's going to disappear on friday and then i'll replace with other things um, we've also got up there went up there today so that's going to be up there for two weeks is part 13 of the hind build this is the hind 24 attack helicopter this is the big 135th kit we did again we ripped that one open we did the engines did lots of work inside and all things like that and then we weathered it to death okay so that is up on YouTube now. You can see that one. Also, if you have a look at our Facebook page, you will see it on there as well. All right. Uh, and then we got old school. Uh, we're speaking about these recently. These are going to make a return back to the main site. Friday, I'm thinking when I've got a bit of time, if not, I'll do it over the weekend. I'll list them back up in the categories of the video builds and I'm going to put a disclaimer saying horrible jumpers and cameras. And don't forget, these are 10 years old. Some of these ones, I know somebody said to me, oh, it's not. But don't take any notice when they went up to YouTube. Because I only put them up to YouTube a couple of months ago. Um, and then where it says, like, you know, the date, um, that's because some of them had to be re-edited when we changed the company name and things like that. So actually one of them that's going to go up there was actually filmed, I think, in around about 2002 two it's that old so as you said everything was in its infancy camera angles one me sounding terrible and everything else like that trying to stream stuff over the internet tell me trust me in 2005 was a living nightmare anything over 36 uh, 360 uh, pixels it took forever so that's why they're always quite small we can't actually upgrade them because unfortunately the raw footage was lost a long time ago and everything else like that so in the old school section at the moment up there we've got the entire build of actually working as it was back then brand new release that week I started on it was the Revel um, uh, 170 uh, sorry 148th Typhoon FGR2 this is Eurofighter kit uh, I think it's the single seat we did uh, and everything else like that so you can see that one no me it's all hands and it's very old school and everything else so if you need a blast from the past and look back in history of truly cringeable how it all is then go and have a look at that one because they're all up there now so if you are a member and you haven't seen these ones or well, certainly for non-members you want to get a feel somewhat of a feel of what we do uh, that is definitely one to have a look at okay also what we got thank you to Sid Sid saved the day again he's been back and he's actually completed doing the SIG reveals okay so we got two up coming up for you this week the first one is up now you're going to see at the end of today's show anyway and that's where's me top SIG okay and that was for basically any vehicle which had a either no top or a rack top soft top that could be removed from the vehicle easily okay and that was it so we had some great entries going into that one and then we got the twin tail SIG as well so we've got loads of different uh, aircraft from that one and I'm going to put that one up with you tomorrow as well so you can see those but anyway it's going to be at the back end of today's show so that's about it from me i'm going to carry on deckling this one i am absolutely love this aircraft it's going so well it's really untrue uh, it's going too well i'm waiting for something to fall apart now or go wrong or bubble up or something because quite frankly it's on a bit of a roll at the moment um this one will be deckled uh today i'm going to finish it off today uh and then hopefully we'll be in a final position of really bringing it all together then we can talk about weathering it and everything else like that and sealing it so this one really is pushing on very very nicely because it's pushing on so nicely i'm going to carry on with this one this week finish this one off by Friday. Then we're gonna start on the Helix. I know a lot of you are asking about the helicopter, brand new on Monday, and I'm gonna work solely on that right the way through. And then obviously next month, I've got two builds in mind for you. One of them's gonna be an airliner, something else a little bit special, uh, and everything else before we get on with all the Star Wars stuff in December. So November's taken up with two builds and everything else like that. So over the course of like the last couple of months, you've had absolutely loads of builds coming at your ears. So there we go. That's about it from me for today. I'm going to leave you now from our Where's My Top Sig uh, that completed a couple of months ago. So until tomorrow, everybody, happy modeling. Take care.